with a Saudi Arabia of solar power that falls on the earth every single day. You want to see the future? Look up. Look at the wind that blows across our country. And not just uh, in the blame state. A Saudi Arabia worth of wind in the plain state, but also off our coastline. Also up in this great lake here. And the great thing about wind turbines, you have a wind platform. Something bad happens and it falls over. I've never heard of a wind flick. <laughs> never heard of a wind flick. It comes and messes up the coastline. The great thing about the solar farm we're getting built, I've never heard of a sun spill. <laughs> it's a smarter way to power America. Never heard of it. But now the challenge. See, the last economy was based on three fallacies, and they let us down. And you in Vermont are building the next economy, and not just for yourself, as an example for the whole world. The last economy had three thousand. Number one, that we could just have an economy based on consumption and not production. Remember that? <laughs> Y'all remember that? <laughs> so my both political parties had a brainstorm in 1990, and they had this great idea called globalization. And the, 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 the key idea was, why do we have to have factories here anyway? <laughs> But we can have malls. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll sign up trees and we'll just send the factories someplace else. <laughs> and then we'll have malls. What right? could go wrong? I and mean, this would be great. <laughs> we have an economy based completely on consumption. This is going to be great. And some people said, I don't know if it's going to work. They said, don't worry, we can also shop online. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's going to be based on consumption and not production. Second fallacy, credit instead of thrift yep. and conservation like our grandparents. Woo! Credit, just build the whole economy up on credit cards. Remember this? You remember like seven, eight years ago, you like open up your mailbox? And credit cards just fly out. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> How do I qualify to pay all these credit cards? <laughs> Are you a carbon based being? I have a credit card. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so we built the whole economy up on credit cards. Third fallacy is you can have an economy forever based on ecological destruction rather than ecological reparation. That you can just keep chopping down every tree, poisoning every river, and that the goal of the economy, in fact, if you listen to the people like Annie Leonard and other people, story of stuff, that the goal of the economy, unlike your value can provide, take Beautiful, living ecosystems. Kill them! <laughs> Shrink wrap whatever you chop down and shot. <laughs> and get it into someone's house and out the back into an incinerator or landfill as quickly as possible. And do it again. <laughs> That's called growth. <laughs> Ecological destruction rather than ecological restoration. That was the last economy. That was the economy that just collapsed. That was the economy that brought the entire world to the brink. Consumption rather than production. Credit rather than smart savings and thrift like our grandparents. And some of you here remember this term that's now been uh, thrown out of the English language called down payment. <laughs> People under 25 never heard the term because there was so much credit in the system. And then lastly, ecological destruction. That's the old economy. How do we have an economy that works? You just do the reverse. 
you go back to production, as you've been leading the way for here in Vermont, local production. You go back to making things, building rather than borrowing to move the economy forward. You go back to thrift. You go back to conservation. And you go back to ecological restoration. There's a word for that. It's called the green economy. And it's the only economy that works.